Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here, and for today's video, we're looking at the latest trade rumor in the NBA, and that is uh, Derrick Rose potentially going to the New York Knicks. It's in, it's internal talks right now, so to make in this video, uh, not a lot of information out on it, but I, th I thought it would still be fun to look at. And uh, in my opinion, guys, I really love this trade for the New York Knicks and for the Chicago Bulls, uh, but I'm going to explain why as we go into the simulation right here. Uh, real quick here, let's take a quick look at this uh, team roster. And, you know, you got Derrick Rose at the point guard here. And I'm going to talk why I like him at that position for this New York Knicks team. Um, and then we don't really know how much this roster will change in the offseason. Honestly, I don't think it's going to change all that much. Um, Chris Thomas Porzingis is, of course, you know, their future of this team, their future franchise player, in my opinion, based off the way he's playing. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, I still expect him to stick around. Uh, Aaron Aflalo, uh, he's, he's not quite an all-star shooting guard, but he's kind of like the level below that. Um, you know, I'm, I assume their bench will probably change a little bit. I know Tony Roten is kind of a newer addition to this team, um, but really not a lot going on. This would definitely be their big move of the summer as they look to upgrade their point guard position. I just traded for Jose Calderon. I assume the uh, the trade would would probably include some sort of future first round draft picks and maybe a salary dump or something like that. Uh, but let's go ahead, guys, and start the simulation. And uh, let's ex let me explain uh, both sides of this case right here. Simulate through date. Okay, so you look at the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I don't think Paul Gasol is going to be back on that team. Uh, you hear Jimmy Butler and all sorts of trade rumors with the Boston Celtics. And um, what was the other one? I mean, the, the T-Wolves, the teams like that. So what that tells, and not to mention even Derrick Rose is in trade rumors. I mean, we see one right here. But the, what that tells me is that the Bulls are in rebuild mode. And you think about it like this. These players played great under Tom Thibodeau. Like, they were, you know, Jimmy Buckets and the, and the Chicago Bulls. I mean, Derrick Rose, yeah, he was injured, so he didn't really get to live up to his potential with the Bulls team after going down with all those injuries. I mean, of course, he was an MVP, the youngest MVP ever. Um, but, you know, recent years he had injuries. But this past season, yes, they didn't make the playoffs. But Derrick Rose showed me that while he's not that same MVP caliber player, I still think he can ball in this league, and I still think he can help a good team out, or help a help a bad team become it maybe a little bit better. So, you know, you put him on the New York Knicks over there, and they have Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is a high volume shooter, can take a lot of shots. Um, it's just kind of who he is. There's no change to that. I think at at this point, players be, are just who they are. Like, there's not really a change in Carmelo Anthony. He's the player that he is. Uh, Chris Tops Porzingis is a good young power forward, but you put Derrick Rose on there, high volume shooting point guard himself. And uh, it does bring excitement, and the fact that he was somewhat of a better player last season showed that, you know, he made it through the season. Sure, he, he set out a few games with injuries and whatnot, or just kind of, he didn't want, really want to push himself that much. But I think it was a big stride, him becoming a good player once again. Um, just not really MVP, if you ask me. He's just had, I think that's, I think we can all agree that's not going to happen. Uh, but I do think that he will make this New York Knicks team more exciting. He'll uh, sell tickets. And who knows? You know, maybe maybe an eight seed. It, it could definitely happen, especially with the uh, progression of Chris Hops Porzingis this summer. Um, if Carmelo Anthony can you know combine into the triangle system, which yeah, you know, it's kind of hard. The, you, you need certain players to run that system. I don't know if Mel is one of those players, uh, but maybe it's just a matter of just switching things up. And then the Chicago Bulls. You know, I I really can't I can't wrap my mind around the mindset of getting rid of Jimmy Butler. He seems like the ideal player to build around. Why would you get rid of him? If he's having problems with Fred Hoiberg, maybe that's a different issue, man. But he's such a talented player. He's only 27 years of age. That's the player you want to build around. Now, yes, if you can get Andrew Wiggins in the number five, hell yeah, you do that. Uh, but if you don't get, like, equal value for that man, or you don't get, like, something that's going to ensure that you're a better team in the future, you don't trade Jimmy Buckets. Yeah, Paul Gasol, he's older. You can get rid of him. Uh, Derrick Rose, I think his I think his days in Chicago are probably numbered. Numbered. Uh, but Jimmy Butler, you're not gonna rid of that dude. Uh, but anyway, Kevin Durant, yeah, MVP. Blah 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 blah. I don't give. And Joe Kim Noah too. I mean, he was a great player too under Thibodeau. He didn't do shit under uh, Zoidberg. So, you know, I mean, even that, it's, it's just it rebuild time for the Chicago Bulls, if you ask me. But don't trade Jimmy Buckets. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, any. Uh, Carmelo Anthony didn't make the All-NBA second with uh, D. Rose as his new point guard. Oh, Derrick Rose, All-NBA third team. That is, that is great, man. Like I'm ha that actually makes me happy to see. I'm just gonna say that makes me happy to see on this game for some reason. I don't know why. It's just showing that you put him on a different team and uh, wow, he actually did pretty decent out there, man. So good for Derrick Rose. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these regular season stats. League leaders. Uh, no, we want to do. Here we go. Uh, player stats. 
Look at that, guys. Look at this. Derrick Rose, this ball just needs a change of scenery, man. 25 points per game? 8.9 assists? You want those look like to me? All-star MVP numbers. I, I, I am taken aback by this, man. Like, wow, you might be able to play into that system. I know it's just a game. He shot 50%. About, you know, 30% from three, that's decent. That's actually really good if you ask me, man. Like, if you're in, like, the 38 to uh, 41%, that's good shooting numbers. I'm very impressed by this, man. Carmelo Anthony actually, you know, his, his scoring did go down a bit. Like I said, D-Rose is a shooting point guard, shoot first point guard. Um, but the assist numbers were great, too. But even Melo, 8.4 rebounds, 6.6 .6 assists. Um, a foul on Porzingis really stepped up as, you know, other options on that team. Um, I'm definitely like what I'm seeing right here. Did they make the playoffs? They finished fourth in the conference, first in the division with Derrick Rose as their point guard, guys. Um, without him, this team was not a playoff team. With him, it's looking pretty damn good. Um, and like I said, I, I think, I, I truly do believe, guys, that Derrick Rose can put up those type of numbers. Like I said, they did look like MVP numbers, but I don't think he's going to win any more MVPs, but he could still be an all-star in this league. I'm a Detroit Pistons fan, okay? Chicago Bulls is one of our rivals, but it's facts. You know, give respect where respect is due. Uh, yes, the guy has had injuries, but he's got the heart to play the game of basketball, and that's what matters. That's what you want in a point guard. You want a guy with heart. Uh, but let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs, see how we do. Uh, I'm predicting a second-round exit to the Miami Heat. Uh, we Maybe first round to the Atlanta Hawks. We'll see. I hope not. Simulate current round. Our, uh, okay, we, we lost first round. Okay, it's all good, man. It's all with stepping stones. You made the playoffs, Phil Jackson, so good for you right there, man. Uh, playoff stats from the first round that we just lost in. Ask yeah, wow, Melo kind of choked in the playoffs, honestly. Um, yeah, pretty much same numbers. Derrick Rose putting up great numbers again. Assists went up, scoring down, and then Melo just choking for some reason. Uh, but let's go ahead and simulate the rest of these playoffs for you guys. Simulate playoffs. Damn Thunder, better not win this motherfucker. I'll be freaking. Oh. I'm freaking asleep, man. Every damn time. Every damn time. You saw the motherfucking Cavaliers. Boy, you beat the Golden State Warriors four game to one. You lost them in game seven after having a 3-1 lead. Every video I got asked why I hate the Thunder, man. I don't know if I hate the Thunder. I just hate the BS, man. The 2K, the credit they give them where credit is not due. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Give me your thoughts on a Derrick Rose to New York Knicks. It might happen, it might not, but it's still interesting to look at. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends. Also, be sure to hit that like button. <laughs> Thanks, guys.